Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import new Upwork jobs to Airtable automatically. To do this, we'll create a jobs RSS feed in Upwork and pull this into Airtable using the data fetcher extension. This way you can use this to automate your Upwork job search and never miss a new opportunity again. So in order to do this, we want to arrive to our Upwork account where you will already need to be signed up. Then you'll arrive to the Upwork job search page and we're going to enter the job topics that we would like to work for just in the search bar. For this example, we're going to use Webflow just like so and that will pop up with the following. Then we want to add any filters on the left hand side that we'd like to include. So here I'm going to include that we don't want jobs that pay less than $40 an hour just by selecting this and that automatically ticks those boxes. Then we'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and change the jobs per page to 50 so that we get more jobs in our feed and this will load up like so. Next, we need to get the RSS feed for this job search. So we need to scroll to the top of the page and click the RSS icon. Just here, you'll find that above all of these job announcements, you'll have this little button next to the save search option. So if you select that, we can then select RSS. This will open the Upwork job search RSS feed in a new tab or window. If you do not see a new tab, if it instead downloads the RSS feed directly, then try switching over to the Chrome browser instead. Now we'll use this Upwork job RSS feed URL, so here, to import new Upwork jobs into Airtable. So now that you have this nicely prepared, we're going to head back over to our Airtable base. Here I'm going to retitle my table as Upwork jobs, just like so. Select save. So now we're going to add our data fetcher extension. So up here in the top right hand corner, we have this extensions option, select that then select add an extension. So the following page will load and you can now search for data fetcher in the top search bar here, just like so. That will now appear and you can simply select add. Select add extension. Now the following page will load and you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So you need to click this big blue button, create your first request and the following will load. From application, we want to select custom, and here we have the method get, and for the URL, we want to paste that URL in here. So you can simply copy that and paste it into this input box. Now give your request the name fetch Upwork jobs, just like so, and then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. Now the first time you run this request to import Upwork jobs, the response field mapping will open. This is where you configure how the data in the RSS jobs feed is imported into your table in Airtable. So there are lots of fields that we don't need here. So what we'd like to do is select the deselect all button up here in this top bar. And now we can select the fields that we do want to import. These all start with RSS channel item. So you can enter this in the find field input to find them quickly, like so. So once you've inputted RSS channel item, the following fields will pop up. Now we are going to want for the fields for RSS channel item title, link, description, and also date. So you can go all the way over here and find that there. And for each of these fields, you can either map them to an existing field in your output table by clicking on the existing field option here. Alternatively, you can get data fetcher to create new fields for you by selecting the map to new field and then add the field name and type. So we'll be adding the following field mappings. For the RSS channel item title, we would like this to map to the existing field and we'd like for this to be the name field, just like so. Then for the item link, we would like for this to map to a new field and have this titled as link. So we can just change that there like so. Then for the description, we'd like to just simplify this in the title and change it to description 
and then also for the RSS channel item pub date, we're just going to simply change this to date, just like so. Then the final thing that we need to do is select a unique field that data fetcher can use to merge the jobs in the feed with those in our table the second time we run the request. So here we want to select the sidebar icon just up here next to that find field input bar. Here we want to select this and that will pop open the advanced settings and the response preview. So we're going to select the advanced settings to open these up. For the update based on fields, select the link field just from this drop down menu. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And now we'll arrive back to our Airtable base, where as you can see, all of this information has been imported. So this is amazing, but at the moment we would need to run this request manually by clicking run to import the new Upwork jobs into Airtable. However, we can make this all happen automatically by using Data Fetcher's schedule feature to import these jobs automatically into your Airtable base without you having to do a thing. So in order to do this, we want to select that extensions option again to open up our data fetcher extension. Here we'll arrive to the following screen where we have that request that we have already created with all of those settings that we have already inputted. Now what you'll want to do is scroll down until you see this schedule option. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. I really recommend that you do because it allows you to schedule all of your data fetcher requests so that all of your information is updated automatically. So once you have upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back to this step and you'll see this authorize button now under schedule. Select authorize and select I understand, let's authorize. Here data fetcher is requesting Airtable access, so we want to select add a base. Select all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces, and then select grant access. Now the schedule option will be turned on. You can change the schedule to the exact one that you want. So you can choose for this to be updated however many hours and on whichever days. Once you've selected that, you can select save in the bottom right hand corner, and then we can close this window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to import new Upwork jobs to Airtable automatically. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where we have a full length blog on this exact topic for you to learn from this way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.